All right, guys, it's Dokkan time, and this is just going to be a quick kind of guide to sh just showing my team of uh, how to team build for this. Team building, kill team building, words. Worldwide Chaos is Ultimate Gohan's weakness here. Let's just go ahead and take a look at our options here for a Worldwide Chaos here. Um, go ahead and exit out those. We need Worldwide Chaos, Worldwide Chaos. Chaos Control. Um, let's see here. We got quite a few options in all honesty. I think a large majority of people could even end up just using like a double Majunior team. Um, if you have enough terrifying conquerors that are also worldwide chaos, I think that would work out really well. Um, otherwise, I think Zamasu might even be a very good option. You know, just run a full Zamasu team. Because um, I think they'll just do plenty of damage at that point. Yeah, you have so many different uh, Goku Black options here. And Zamasu options, that I think that would just probably be the way to go. Let's go ahead and see if that'll work. I'm just going to grab, like, all of these. Um, oh, not tech. Not tech. Not tech. Not tech. Not tech. Let's not do tech. Um, let's just grab a bunch of different intelligence options here and see what happens. I mean, really. I, I think it'll be very easy to just kind of mow through this. I don't even think it needs to be a crazy cohesive team. So I'm just going to go in here and I'll come back once it hits like stage 26, 27, or 28. Okay. Uh, uh. We are finally on stage 26. <laughs> this uh, took me a hot minute here. Um, absolutely ridiculous. So, my biggest suggestion is just definitely going to be, like, bring a whole, um, Fusion Zamasu, uh, freaking team right here if you got the option for it. Um, although he is a tech-type LR, this LR Fusion Zamasu can do a lot of, um, damage here. He can do okay damage. Not an absurd amount, but because his damage is already kind of scaled super high... He can do a decent amount of damage, even though he doesn't have type advantage, exactly. This Goku Black right here, this LR Rose, he's about to wipe him out. Yeah, yeah. If you get this LR Rose on rotation, it's just, it's an instant wipe. It's an instant wipe as soon as you get that LR Rose, man. He, he, he truly just, he just decimates the field. <laughs> so, um, I do have my Junior on here. If by chance you're missing a bunch of these fusion or these uh, these other future extreme enemies, I would highly uh, suggest him. It, it, it's definitely a, a perfectly fine option. I don't see why you couldn't. Um, as long as you get his big bad bosses link off, I think he'll do perfectly fine. So uh, we're just gonna throw him in slot two because big bad bosses. Honestly, Big Bad Bosses eclipses all the other uh, links that go off with the majority of these units. So always focus the Big Bad Bosses link once you get get it going. Um, we're not going to do too much damage with this LR uh, Zamasu Rose. Unfortunately. Take waste the time for getting hit here. They're not going to take a lot of damage. They'll take maybe a little bit, but they shouldn't be taking almost anything. Yeah, they double digits. And then Piccolo should do a good chunk of damage in slot to big bad bosses. I think he's only 170 on this team. I could be wrong, though. Double super? Yeah, there we go. If he triples, we could potentially kill. We could potentially kill. Uh, this is another suggestion. You could just use, like, double Majunior, um, and then uh, hopefully you, you'd have plenty of a team for intelligence units. I think double Majunior would just be fine. I really think he could carry you through this event just as much as the LR Rose or Fusion Zamasu LR. I think it really is a either or. It's entirely up to you on whichever one you want to go forward with. But you do need to uh, have intelligence units up to this point. Um, I think if you don't have intelligence units rocking at this point or units with high defense, you could suffer a little bit. I, I will say that. Uh, we're not going to kill this turn. Uh, we don't have any of the intelligence units on this rotation. Unfortunately, this is just what can happen on easy A stages. You might get stuck on a rotation where you just have like none of the units um, that are going to be doing immense amounts of damage. 
we did get a crit there on the 18, which is why we did a load of damage right there. Like I said, this LR Fusion Zamasu, freaking fantastic if he can um, crit and get his attacks off. Uh, could we kill? No, 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 we can't kill. Ooh, we were so close. <laughs> we were so close, man. We were so close to getting that kill. Uh, if, if one of the... I think they were all crits, too. Yeah, so there's no way we could have... One attack orb could have changed that. If one of those units had a, a, an attack orb up, it would have wiped on turn one. That's funny. You never usually see that. All right. Um, I think we're on the last stage? Or is this 29? Yeah, we're going on 29. We're almost done. Uh, once we get through this... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll go over a couple other potential easy options you can probably throw out there. And then after that, you can probably discuss... Uh, I'll go over the friends list, see what units uh, my friends have been rocking. I'm sure it's pretty much all the same team. I'm pretty sure it's all everyone's just using the same bloody team. I would not be surprised whatsoever. Um, if anyone's using anything else other than Fusion Zamasu or Majunior as leaders, I would just be astonished and confused. I really would. I'm not really sure there's a free-to-play route to go with this. We can look over the units real quick and see if there's any free-to-play routes you can really adventure into. Um, but I don't think there would be too many. Not too many. At least not that are intelligence. Yeah, there we go. One more. Come on. Come on. There we go. I swear, it's such a slog going through the level 30 stages. It is just such a slog. Even 20 stages would be would be less of pain. Man, I mean, this is the only time, tr really, other than with Link level grinding, this is the only time I envy Dragon Ball Legends and just, like, I want some skip tickets. Like, really, I just, I want some skip tickets right now. <laughs> I really want some skip tickets for this crap. Uh, it's, it's not like it's a difficult stage. It's pretty easy. It's just like, man, the slog of going through every single level, the loading screen, the constantly same animations. I, I could take a nap. I could take a nap, you know? Yeah, like, like I said, if you have all your links going off with Fusion Zamasu, um, then he can do a good chunk of damage. Otherwise, it's a Piccolo Jr. fight. And if he doubles and uh, crits, if he double crits or triple crits total, um, then he'll probably win. Oh, okay, yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I didn't think the crit would do that much. <laughs> the crit did an absurd amount of damage. That was so much damage. That was insane. Okay, there we go. Yep. Alrighty then. So that is all level 30 with this team specifically. Um, very easy to run through if, you, if you've if you been playing for a while. Obviously, if you haven't been playing before, let's try and go over a couple options that you may or may not have. Um, let's look at the friends list here. Um, yeah, Fusions of Masu, Fusions of Masu, Fusions of Masu. Okay. Alright, Bringer. Awesome. I, lo I love to see a different thing, man. I love seeing different teams. That's freaking cool. I'm glad you made that work. That's pretty awesome. Um, and it, yeah. And then DBC Queen. My queen. You know the way. You know the way to the queen. The queen rocking the double uh, intelligence. I love it. I love to see it. I love to see it. And then we got Greg down here rock rocking Majin Buu and a couple other things in here. A little bit of differences here and there. Uh, but the Queen and Bringer rocking different leaders. I love to see it. Let's see. Let's see if there's any other options in here. Is there really, like, like truthfully, is there really any other options we can really rock here? You do have this as a free-to-play option for Worldwide Chaos. I don't think he'll do bad, but he's definitely going to take some damage, potentially, as a free-to-play unit. Um, you know, uh, this cell will definitely do a good amount of damage. He is an intelligence type leader as well, so this is an option as a leader. Um, he's been thrown onto banners left and right throughout the years. I feel like if you don't even have even one of him, I'd be surprised. 
Um, let's see here. What else? I mean, really? <laughs> yeah, 55% options are pretty are pretty slim. I will, or not 55, but free-to-play options are pretty slim. So I would say this isn't really one of those times where you can really afford to uh, not have a friend unit. But I would say, you know, if you can grab friends that have uh, Majuniors as their lead or LR Merge Zamasu, I, I think you'd be pretty set. I think you'd be pretty set. But anyways, let's go, let's go ahead. Let's grab our stones here. And then let's go ahead and awaken him to finish off the video here. Where is he? There's our boy, Ultimate Gohan. Nice and freshly... Extreme Z Awaken. The day has finally come. And one day he'll super Extreme Z Awaken and then he'll be broken. <laughs> if the game lives long enough to see this guy super Extreme Z Awaken. But as of right now, his uh, Easy A is good enough. His Easy A is good enough. I'm glad to see it. Let me know down in the comments what fight you're going to take this guy into first. That's what I really want to know. What boss are you going to go at with this guy first? That's what I want to know. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night.